I told you I wanted to get a video. Oh, this is a video. This is a video. Shall I continue my blippy level of enthusiasm? Oh, you can just do whatever you want. Oh my gosh, there's so much laundry in the background. This is terrible. It's clean. <laughs> I know. Okay. It's not like it's dirty laundry. I hit the stop button. <laughs> Fuel. It's just a 5k. <laughs> oh, right. I mean, not that we don't need fuel, but... Right. It's my first race, so I'm treating it as a marathon. Your first official running a 5k. Yeah. Because we walked it when I was pregnant. I don't, why are you saying this? We already know this. Oh, for the camera, right. I'm not going to really use any of this footage because you're just being a jerk. <laughs> I'm just a big funny. It's like we just had this conversation like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> because I'm going to film. We are dropping our boys off at a friend's house. And then we are heading over to the race, so gonna be fun. You can't be normal. You can't be normal. Well, I just like <laughs> normal's overrated anyway. It's snowing. <laughs> Yay! Does my hair look good. So we finished. So what do you want to talk about? So we ran the Shamrock Shuffle here in Anchorage, Alaska, and it's a 5K. And this was our first time running, well, your first time running a 5K, our first mm -hmm. time running it like, completely like together. It's our first race together. Yeah. We've done the Shamrock Shuffle. Well, but we also... Pushing a stroller and you pregnant. Yeah. I was pregnant with Sebastian. So technically four of us have done the Shamrock Shuffle. Yes. So we walked it that time. That was in 2022. And then we did do a race because we did the 6K, the Twilight 6K. Another walking but, one. I mean, we ran a tiny bit, but mostly we walked. <laughs> so this was their first like actual like running together, though, mm -hmm. race. So that was really cool. Um, I was wishing that we had brought grippies. But I was also impressed with like how easy it felt to run even though it felt really icy on a lot of the a lot of the pavement did you notice how many really people slippery. had studded shoes yeah not just grippies but studded shoes so you could hear it a <laughs> like lot crunching. of people it was, it was it was like a rain stick at the beginning of the race yeah sorry i'm hungry was, no you're fine <laughs> 
that was, it was, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe we just need some studded race shoes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least for, like, do they wear, wear them like that, like, all the time? Or is that just I for think running you can at night? Take this, the, I think it's like a separate shoes for winter time. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't have, I, I have, like. needed to cover my mouth for the race. Yes. Because the cold air makes the phlegm in my throat congeal, and then it makes me gag. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even nauseous, and I will vomit. And it's really embarrassing in front of a lot of other racers. I was but, super worried and about you. <laughs> and it slowed us down. It did a little bit. A lot. <laughs> I could have I could have been much I know faster. we could have been faster. I when just we figured were training, it was 30 degrees. It was, I, I was like, it's 30 degrees. It's not that cold. Mm-hmm. Cold enough to do it, though. Because yeah. I've had it happen when it was like 15 degrees. And so I covered my mouth the next time I went running, and it was fine. I just have to deal with stank so- breath on <laughs> on the, 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 what do you call them? The balaclavas. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yes. Wow. Balaclava. Not mm-hmm. baklava. <laughs> they both sound delicious. <laughs> Only one is, though. Oh my gosh, you can see that so easily. On the camera. <laughs> That's from the baby. Yep. All the parents out there will understand. Hmm. So I guess the next time we do a race in... In the cold. In the cold. I need to cover my it's mouth. It's very important. And let it be known that Rebecca's in better shape than me. (laughs) I've been running a lot Until the very end, and I started going faster than her. The, 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 like, I was taking it easy on you. (laughs) (laughs) I could have been going a lot faster in that Mm -hmm. last stretch. But I was slowing down to make sure that Mm -hmm. you were doing okay. But I did get the flying. You did get the flying feet photo. Yeah, I didn't even yeah. know that was a thing. But. I, yeah, I, I was surprised. I, yeah, that was cool. I, I don't know how big of a thing. I know it's a thing in a couple of the running groups that I'm in. But, yeah. yeah. Your very first official race and you got a flying feet photo, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Just according to somebody. <laughs> I really wish that I had had a chance to talk to that older lady. There was an mm-hmm. older lady who was... was it, we were kind of leapfrogging with her for a little bit. She would... She would slow down and walk, and we would be running and pass her, and then we would slow down and walk, and then she would be running and pass us. Oh, yeah, and I was like, man, that's really impressive. It's very impressive. that she's running at what because she looked like she she, she could, could have been, been like 80, eighty, yeah. Um, and it's like that's really cool. Or should I feel bad about myself because I'm in the same I was pack going back as an eighty like year old woman? <laughs> <sighs> but you know what? I could not have run this. At the beginning of winter, it would have killed me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, in fact, running a mile, I just about died mm-hmm. earlier this winter. So, and now a mile is a cakewalk. So. Yeah. No, you've you're you've improved really fast, especially for someone who talked like they hated running I still for a long really, time. <laughs> I don't still don't really like it. I just like the things that it does to me. Yeah. And the way it makes me feel when I'm done. When you're done, Because yeah. afterwards, I'm like, all right. And I know, I like the feeling of, like, you know, I did something today. Uh-huh. And my sore muscles. And I like the euphoria of finishing. And, like, yes, I did that thing. That was fun. And, yeah. Um, but while I'm running, I'm like, why? Why? I hate this. Why? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I don't remember ever getting to that point. I mean, definitely, like, this is hard. But... Not not today, not with the 5K. I mean, I I was... It was probably the best I've done running that race as far as, like, consistent running. Because we really mm-hmm. only walked a couple times. But you run it, like, two minutes faster before. Yeah, that's true. But I ran halfway up that hill. And mm-hmm. I usually don't run, like, any of that so hill. So if I hadn't slowed you down, you would have gone super fast. At least for us. Yeah, because I don't think... Because so far, my fastest 5K has been, like, a 36... 36, 40 or something like that. Today was my fastest. Yeah. We did it in... I think it was, like, what, what 40 minutes and 8 seconds or something? Yeah. Yeah. We did, like, a 13... 7... 13.07 pace or something like that. I can't remember. My best pace, my best 5K. Yeah. It was really... For me, having a consistent pace of that is good. So... I think we did really well. Sorry, I'm distracted by TV ads. <laughs> yeah. 
that, I don't know, it was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed running a race with you, and one thing I really did like was sharing a playlist, because we both get excited about the same songs, really, a lot of the same songs, and, like, just parts where I'm just like, oh, like, and I would look over at you, and you were feeling the same way, yeah. <laughs> it was really awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Because, like, there's been times when we're at the gym, and... Like, I feel that way, and I want to be like, oh, this is the song I'm listening to, but you're listening to your own music, and like... Or nothing. Yeah, or nothing, and it's still, like, not the same, because we're not both listening to it. But that was a lot of fun. It was. I highly recommend it. <laughs> to... Because you, you said afterwards that you're not sure if you can do a half marathon this fall. <laughs> did I say that? Oh, yeah, I guess I did. But I said this year. This year, yeah. Um, just because I don't feel like I can dedicate the time needed to training. Yeah. Okay. But we could try to do, like, a 12K or something. Mm -hmm. We could just try to do another, like, even a 10K, yeah. you know, just double what we I did. I just need to be more um, consistent with training. I think we just have to take a good look at our schedule and pick days and just make sure we're consistently going on those days. Yes. And, yeah. It's like we just have to... Make it a priority if that's what we want to do. I don't think I could run 13 miles on a treadmill though. That'd be no boring. I don't think I could do that. Mm. Might have to if we train through the winter though. I wouldn't. I mean, we wouldn't be able to anyway because we can't leave the kids in the childcare longer yeah. than two hours. So, and I have to have longer than two hours to do that. Like my half marathon was like two. 58 or something like that mm -hmm. it was under so so if i could do a half marathon in like 230 that'd be good for me <laughs> but if i could walk that far i'm proud of myself <laughs> just do lots of hikes mm -hmm. get our mileage up that way <laughs> i want to hike just run some while we hike yeah do fast packing i think that's what that is Okay. I want to watch TV now. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching our video. And hopefully it was entertaining. <laughs> You're entertaining. I like you. I'd watch you. <laughs>